What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So I did find out um, as the time of me recording this, I'm recording this on Saturday. I did find out uh, yesterday that uh, Triple H has announced his retirement from in-ring competition. Um, it's sad. You know, it's unfortunate. But I, I think the writings were on the wall. Um, I want to say in 2021, uh, late 2021, uh, Triple H was dealing with a uh, cardiac heart problem of sorts, um, and he was undergoing uh, operations. And uh, apparently now he has a pretty much a, a defibrillator, a defibrillator. I can't even say it uh, in his chest now, and it just wouldn't even be smart medically to actually go out there and wrestle again. And I, I think a lot of us kind of figured that probably was going to be the case. Anything dealing with your heart is, uh, is is very serious, and doing any extraneous activities involving your heart, especially after having surgery and stuff like that, uh, it's it's usually not a good idea. So him making that announcement, it was one of those things where we knew it was coming if you really just paid attention to the whole situation, but you didn't want to hear it. But it it it, it it's un the unfortunate truth i think his last in-ring match was with randy orton overseas uh it was like i think it was a super showdown it was one of the saudi shows but that was his last in-ring match and that was a few years back and it's crazy just even saying that <clears throat> granted uh from what uh people were saying the match was actually pretty pretty solid but it, it's just it's crazy to say that was his last match ever in a wrestling ring and it was cool to see yesterday and also today people just showing their favorite triple h clips favorite triple h moments people from AEW, uh wwe other wrestling promotions showing their love for triple h and what he's done uh, or what type of impact he's had on their career and it's unfortunate but what i've always said is at some point it got to be about your health. The same thing I said with Undertaker, man. Him having, <clears throat> I believe he had both hips, both of his hips replaced, I'm not sure. Or I know he's had hip surgery. Like, he's just been dealing with a lot of, a lot of things, you know, on his body physically. And him getting that sorted out is the most important thing. You know, it's, it's not about having that one more match. It's being able to, you know, live a life outside of wrestling. And Triple H wants to be able to do that. And I think he should. I think him stepping away was the smart decision. I'm pretty sure Stephanie was not going to have it. Not going to let him, you know, risk his life like that. And I'm just glad he still has his life. And he can still be impactful behind the scenes. Hopefully, if Vince McMahon and everyone else in management allows that. But it's just... it's. It's just one of those things where all you can do is just be appreciative of the legacy that he left behind within the ring and behind the scenes. I mean, we can all really give uh, Triple H his, you know, his his much needed respect when it comes to what he's done for NXT uh, after um, after Dusty passed away and how he was able to kind of, you know, really cultivate that into the NXT brand that we all love, you know? Like, I got into NXT because of the matches and the storytelling, and you can see Triple H, his passion for it, his love for it. I never thought in a million years I would ever see Triple H as the guy that goes for the indie darlings, that goes for the people that don't have the WWE look. And, like, it was cool to see him embracing Tommaso Ciampa, him embracing Johnny Gargano, him embracing Shinsuke Nakamura, him embracing Finn Balor, get, getting all these cool talent from these other companies that you would not think are main would like be main event players or have main event, event capabilities on the main roster. Because, you know, Vince don't look for those type of guys. Him bringing in Adam Cole, that Adam Cole era, the Undisputed era, one of the greatest factions ever ever in WWE and they weren't really seen on the main roster him bringing in Walter I'm not calling him Gunther him pretty much 
starting up NXT UK or getting that brand jumping. Like just seeing his love and passion for the for the business outside of WWE. I, me personally, if you know Triple H and been watching him for years, you I don't think anybody would have seen that. Because Triple H was always the guy of you gotta look like this back in the day. You know, so to see him embrace younger talent that don't fit that mold was beautiful, man. And you know, I I just I just want to be able to say Triple H, Paul Levesque, <laughs> uh, we we really appreciate what you've done. Uh, I will say this as a kid growing up, I used to despise Triple H. I used to hate him, but that was because he was he was a, an annoying heel, an annoying heel with a big nose. <laughs> but at the same time. As you get older, you can appreciate his heel work. You can appreciate what he's done in the business. Were there questionable feuds that he should have definitely lost? Yes. Were there times in the era of the evolution era where he was just winning all the time, had the championship all the time? It was kind of annoying. Yes. But all in all, as a whole, he was always a guy that the company could depend on. To be honest with you, and this may be an unpopular opinion, he wasn't the top guy. It was always going to be Stone Cold and The Rock. They were always, in the Attitude Era, they were always going to be the top guys. But guess what? When they went on and moved on, he was still the guy there. He was still the guy that people, you know, could trust in to carry the, uh, uh, the company on his back. He was. I will give him that. He's been there since then since they all left all did their own thing moved away on you know maybe retired or whatever he still was there and that's something that you know you can definitely appreciate so this was just uh it was a, a sad news to hear but ultimately it's for his health and i don't think anyone can complain about that so what i want y'all to do comment down y'all favorite triple h feud favorite triple h match whatever comment down below if you know me you've been subscribed to me y'all already know my favorite triple h match well favorite triple h feud will be always and forever his feud with hbk that was some of the greatest television i had ever seen it felt real it felt personal and i love that feud to death one of my favorite feuds it's a feud i can Always go back to and watch. So, but I appreciate all the love and support, man. Roll to ADK. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.